Monsters is a show about the worst human beings on the planet. Viewer discretion is advised. Sarah Boone was upset that her boyfriend abused her and cheated on her. She might have felt like she was trapped in the relationship, so she decided to show him just how it felt to be trapped. This is Monsters. Sarah Boone and Jorge Torres Jr. had a violent relationship. In 2018, police reports described an incident where the couple were at a bar together and Boone asked an unknown male for a cigarette. Torres got upset when he saw his girlfriend talking to another man, so he left the bar. The couple both went back to their apartment and began fighting. When police arrived, Boone claimed that Torres dragged her upstairs and then kicked her in the right eye. Torres claimed that he was going upstairs to get away from Boone when she started strangling him and he attempted to kick her away from him and that's when he may have kicked her in the eye. Neither were willing to write a statement and both refused medical treatment. Since the officer was unable to determine who the primary aggressor was, they both were arrested after the fight and most likely were released after sobering up. At the time of this police report, the couple had been dating for a year and a half, so I'm sure there was more violence prior to this. All of the pictures I could find of Torres look like mugshots. In another police report from June 15, 2019, Boone claims that Torres became upset that she was talking to another man, so he flung her off the bed and she was beaten up about the face, head, legs, and arms. She told the officer that Torres said, quote, You're going to die, end quote. He was arrested and released the following day with an order to have no contact with Boone. That seems to rarely stop people, though. On June 18th, Torres went to Boone's apartment, and while she was upstairs, he took a credit card of hers and left. She called the police in the morning to report the incident. The officer stated in his report that Boone claimed that she didn't invite him in, but that she didn't deny him access either. At the time, she wouldn't make a formal statement and stopped cooperating with the officer because she said she didn't want him to get arrested. The officer tried to locate Torres at his parents' house and at the Ace Hardware where he was employed, but he wasn't at either location. That afternoon, the officer returned to Boone's apartment where the couple had been arguing. Torres was inside and was arrested and returned to jail. He was released at some point and the couple continued their relationship into 2020. On the evening of February 23rd, according to Boone, the couple were drinking wine and playing hide-and-seek. She claimed that she first hid in the upstairs shower, but her boyfriend never came up and found her, so she went back downstairs. Then they decided that it would be funny if he got into a suitcase, which he did willingly, before she zipped it up. She had to use a paper clip to zip it up because the zipper was broken. She said she passed out on her bed, and when she woke up the next morning, she initially thought that he was on the computer downstairs, but when she didn't hear him for a while, she came downstairs, saw the suitcase, and remembered that he was still in there. She opened the suitcase and found Torres unresponsive, so she picked up the phone and called her ex-husband, of course. In my experience, a call to someone other than authorities in a situation like this is a let me see how I can get out of this first call. After her ex-husband saw Torres' body, he told her that she needed to call 911. Is this a police or medical? My boyfriend is dead. Okay, send the line for the fire department. Do not hang up. All right, great. Now tell me exactly what happened there. Uh, my boyfriend and I were playing last night, and mm -hmm. I put him in a case when we were playing. And okay. Like kind of hide and seek kind of thing. So I fell asleep and I woke up and he was dead in the suitcase. So I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. Well, okay, what's your apartment number? Three. Um, I don't know. Apartment three? Yes, like he has like blood coming out of his mouth and I don't know if like he had like an aneurysm or like what happened. Right, okay, all right, okay. Listen, we're getting help out there too. I've listened to a lot of 911 calls, and it never ceases to amaze me when I hear someone be so calm about a deceased loved one. My boyfriend's dead. It's like she's calling in to order a body removal. Hey, my boyfriend's dead. I'm tired of the body laying around my living room. Can you pick it up? She also tells the operator that she put him in the suitcase because they were playing hide-and-seek, which is not what she says when the police interview her. 
but how would you be playing hide and seek when you put the person in the suitcase? That's not how hide and seek works. Okay, is he hanging from somewhere or what, ma'am? No, I pulled him out of the suitcase. I tried the, giving him CPR. Out of the, okay, so he's, uh, he was in a suitcase? Yes, and I fell asleep. Okay, how old is the how old 42. is the boyfriend, ma'am? Forty two year old male. All right. Okay, we're we're sending we're sending help out there. Sheriff's not standing way out there? Yes, I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. All right, listen to me. Okay, that um, that you see that you need to confirm this one. No, right, I, I understand. I just need to confirm this. Is he is he awake at all? Is he conscious at all? No. He's purple. Is he right, is he breathing? No. All right. I need you to get I need you to get him on the floor flat on his back for I me, did. okay? I did, I did. I tried giving him CPR. All right. I tried giving him CPR. Yeah, okay. Well, well, we're, but nothing happened. He's purple. Right. Okay, listen to me. There's a defibrillator, but I need you to get it for me, okay? What is it? You have an AED, you have an AED available? No. All right. Are you right by him now? I'm sorry? You, are you right by him now? Yes. Okay, okay. Lay him flat on his... Okay, ma'am, 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 listen. Uh, so, listen, is he cold and stiff? Yes. Okay. Well, he's okay. not necessarily cold, but he's stiff. And he's right, purple. okay. All right, listen to me. I, uh, listen, listen to me. I want you to lay him flat on his back for me on I the did. floor. I did. We're moving the pillows, okay. Yes, I did. All right, okay. When he's stiff and purple. She's very adamant that he's already dead. She says that she tried CPR, which seems doubtful, but even if she did, she clearly doesn't want to do it again. I think she knew that he had been dead for a while. Paramedics arrived on the scene, and Torres was pronounced dead. The police questioned Boone, and she told them that they had been drinking Chardonnay while putting together a puzzle and painting. When they were done, they decided to play hide-and-seek before deciding that it would be funny to see if they could zip Torres up in a suitcase. On February 25th, the police got a warrant to search Boone's phone where they found two videos that had been taken on the night that Torres was locked into the suitcase. Sarah. That's my name. Don't wear it up. Sarah, I can't breathe, babe. Sarah, is he? Yeah, that's when you do when you choke me. Sarah. He calls out her name and she responds, quote, that's my name, don't wear it out, end quote. When he tells her that he can't breathe, she says, quote, yeah, that's what you do when you choke me, end quote. In another part of the video, she says, quote, that's on you, oh, that's what it feels like when you cheat on me, end quote. She also laughs while he begs to be released and tells him, quote, you should probably shut the fuck up, end quote. When investigators questioned her about the videos, she claimed that she didn't remember making them. During this interview, she said that she went to bed thinking that Torres would be able to free himself from the suitcase, unlike her first interview where she said she got drunk and passed out. Due to the video footage and her inconsistent statements, she was charged with second-degree murder and arrested. While being led to the police vehicle in handcuffs, she asks why someone is videotaping. One of the deputies responds that it's a public place. An autopsy determined that Jorge Torres died due to positional asphyxiation and that the manner of death was homicide. They estimated that Torres had been in the suitcase for up to 11 hours. He had a black eye as well as bruises and cuts around his head. His back and hands had abrasions, bruises, and cuts indicating blunt impacts around the body. Boone claimed that they did not fight prior to him being zipped up in the suitcase, but a neighbor said he heard a loud noise like something falling down the stairs coming from their apartment the night of Torres' death. It could be possible that Torres got in the suitcase upstairs and she pushed the suitcase down the stairs with him inside. That would explain the loud noise and the numerous bruises and abrasions on the body. None of that is proven. Ma'am, good morning. Your name? Sarah Ben. The autopsy findings, which include significant evidence of trauma to multiple sites on the victim's body. The look on her face just says it all. She just shakes her head like she's being inconvenienced by all this. One weird little detail about this case is that, while the police were investigating, they found that Boone had previously been investigated for zipping somebody up in a suitcase. 
she had posted a picture on her Facebook page of a child being zipped up into a suitcase. The police and CPS looked into the matter when it happened four years ago. That was investigated um, four years ago, and, and both the, our investigators and Department of Ch Children and Families realized that was it was consensual. The, the kid wanted to get in there. The kid wanted the picture of being in the suitcase. So just a really weird coincidence, or did that give her the idea as a way of punishing her boyfriend? Sarah Boone is currently at the Orange County Jail in Florida, awaiting trial which is scheduled to begin on March 8, 2021. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, and make sure to hit the subscribe button to ensure you don't miss a video. Also, remember that if you'd like to support the show, you can find information on how to do that in the video's info or at thisismonsters.com forward slash support. Thanks again.